Pathways to Careers in Healthcare. Let your path be your story. Start writing it today. Careers in healthcare can be incredibly rewarding and satisfying, but just who works in healthcare? Doctors? Nurses? That's true, but healthcare is more than just doctors and nurses. It takes a variety of roles to make sure healthcare works. Some of those roles include housekeeper, maintenance, nutritionist, cook, receptionist, interpreter, patient care representative, business analyst, insurance analyst, registration specialist, financial counselor, chaplain, administrative assistant, learning developer, IS help desk support, floor crew, staff accountant, physical therapist, pharmacist, patient access specialist, sterile processing technician, radiologist, case manager, nurse, scheduling educator. specialist. Careers in healthcare are extremely dynamic and well suited for continued individual growth and personal development. There are many paths to a career in healthcare, and you might be surprised to learn that the education requirements vary. Let's meet Morgan, who started her career at Valley Health in high school. I started with a biomedical program through my technical center, and then I went to get my CNA and then to LFCC for my EMT. I continued to work on my skills as I got hired as a CNA through Valley Health all through the spring. I am most recently interviewed at Winchester Medical Center for a position in the ER. Um, I hope to continue to work on my EMT skills and my nursing skills as I go to LFCC to continue my education and to get my RN. I hope to continue my education using the tuition reimbursement program to hopefully one day get my BS in. There are many paths you can take to a career in healthcare. For example, in high school, you could choose educational opportunities to prepare you to take the certification test to become a nursing aide and or a medication aide. Once you are certified, you can begin a career as a certified nursing aide or medication aide. You could stay in either of these roles long term, or if you decide to try a new path or an additional challenge, you could continue your education and begin a career as a licensed practical nurse or a patient care tech. All of this education would set the foundation for you to move into an associate's or bachelor's degree in nursing, which would prepare you for a career in nursing, should you choose. Or perhaps you want to do something completely different that leverages your experience. Let's hear from Kelly, who did just that. I started towards a nursing profession immediately after high school. Uh, graduated from a local high school and started at Valley Health as a nurse extern. Um, through the course of the next couple years, I completed my associate's degree and my bachelor's degree in nursing. Um, and then around 1996, we implemented our first electronic EMR. Um, at that time, I was asked to join the team, so I applied for the job and, and got the job and shifted my focus to information technology. I then went back to school, completed my um, graduate degree, and have been on a course ever since to work in the world of um, IS. And um, since then, I have taken advantage, continued to take advantage of the great opportunities from Valley Health around tuition assistance, not only with my associate's degree, my bachelor's degree, my graduate degree, I have um, finished the Business Essentials course through a cohort with Shenandoah University, CIO Boot Camp. Um, whenever I get an opportunity in Valley Health, has been very supportive of me in that way. The great thing about these paths is that you have a career every step of the way. Many employers will even help you overcome barriers to get started. But don't take our word for it. Let's hear from some Valley Health employees who are writing their story today. Clinical engineering is a department in, in all of healthcare that deals with maintenance and repair of the medical equipment. So all the equipment that's used on any kind of patient that comes in, whether it's a defib in a critical situation, imaging equipment like CT, uh, ultrasound, anything diagnostic, the clinical engineering department's responsible for repairing it, maintaining it, making sure it works. We even help with training people on how to use it. It's a field that that's very easy to get into if you're electronically inclined, if you have a strong troubleshooting base. Personally, I got into this field in the United States Army. When I joined when I was 19 years old, I actually started off as a combat medic. Uh, because I was in the medical field, people would talk to me on and off about, there's this really great thing you can do working with the equipment, uh, long-term opportunities in the job, and I said, that sounds really interesting, let me look into that. And I was able to re-enlist, and I was actually trained in the Army to be a biomed tech. And while the Army has a great training program is a great place to get training. It's not the only place. You can go to college and work on engineering in a general sense just to get into the field itself. 
and then once you're in it, the opportunities then grow exponentially from there. But you can work in a surgery center, you can work at a doctor's office, you can work in a hospital setting, you can join the military. It's a very important part of healthcare and of the process of keeping people healthy and maintaining wellness. I went to Sharando High School. Um, I was uh, recently involved in a Education for Employment program which helped me get started with my uh, career here at Valley Health. I'm a housekeeper now and it's been really great. I started here at the age of 18 and went through the program, did um, nutrition and housekeeping and decided to do housekeeping because I like that one better. I decided I liked to clean. I like walking down the halls with my dust mop and just interact with patients and other coworkers and stuff like that making everybody's day, that's what I like. My career goals are to further my um, experiences here, like just try to continue with the housekeeping and hopefully move up to maybe management. I would encourage uh, you know, all students to just believing in your dreams and setting goals because I believe that anybody can do anything. I've had a rich, lifelong career full of opportunities right here at Valley Health. I grew up in Winchester, Virginia, and I attended the local public school system. After graduation, I wasn't really sure as to exactly what I wanted to do. An opportunity came. There was a position available in the data processing department. That little data entry position that got me in the door several years ago has proved to be very rewarding for me. Since then, I've completed education and training through Valley Health that has taken me from data entry and operations to supervisor for the IS help desk. I can thank Valley Health for investing in me. Right, so the program that led me here was um, Mr. Gasper's uh, medical lab program. He covers five units of the lab. Um, covers microbiology, hematology, clinical chemistry, serology, and blood bank. It's very, um, it's very complex, so he brings it down to our level. When I was thinking about even applying here, I thought it was kind of daunting because you have all these professionals around you and you have, you know, uh, serious tests that need to be run on the patients and for me I always thought maybe I wouldn't be able to handle the pressure or maybe I wouldn't be able to handle the complexity of the tests and the instruments but with this course that I took at Hanley it really prepared me for what's out there because Mr. Gasper aside from teaching us the different departments of the lab and the information that goes along with it he also told us about real life stories that he dealt with in the laboratory when he was a lab manager and that kind of gave us a perspective on what to expect. And this course has definitely um, gotten me interested in the medical field and pursuing career options that go along with it. As you can see, there are many different careers to choose from that can fit anyone's educational background. To learn more about this opportunity, follow the link on your screen. Let your path be your story. Start writing it today.